on today's episode. And there you have it. $50 cash. What is good, Drip and Drift fam? Today, we're gonna be working on some 6 a.m. lines. This stuff could be used for fuel, oil, coolant stuff, but we are making lines for power steering fluid. I recently purchased one of these bad boys. If you don't know, this is a Volvo electric power steering pump. Um, I got it for like about 150 bucks. Two ways we are gonna do this. First way, we're gonna use some cable cutters. And our other way, get to use some power tools today, boy. Oh yeah, the angle grinder. If we could see, I've already put them in down here. So those are where two of the fit it, two of the lines will go. Then we run it. Supreme drip. <sighs> to these two guys. So the kit that I got was 12 foot. So what we're gonna do is basically make three lines. And one will be as a backup, and the other two will give enough. I really only need about two foot of line for each of them. Um, but with more line, gives better cooling for the power steering. And it will benefit me when I'm trying to maneuver the power steering pump around. I have a spot for it, but I haven't welded up the bracket yet, so I don't know if it will work in that spot 100%. Alright, so first up, we'll use these cable cutters. Alright. Alright. So, a little trick I've seen is putting some electrical tape around the end right there. So when we screw this bad boy in, we could tell if it'll get pushed out or not. We don't want it to get pushed out. Nice, that wasn't so hard. That's what's up. So we'll take that little guy off. And get the other side. I probably would use this again to get this side. However, for science, we'll use our angle grinder. See which one really is easier. We do got some frayed edges though, which we did not have when we used our clippers. So I don't know if I'll be able to get this one on. It was still fraying and I didn't know what to do. I didn't want to just keep cutting and cutting and cutting until I have nothing left. So, wrapped electrical tape around it, then I sandwiched, I sandwiched it like that, then I turned it, sandwiched it some more, and uh, when I unwrapped the tape, I was able to get that fitting on. The kit that I got came with two of these, two of these, and then two straight ones. Um, those I probably won't use, maybe later, maybe with that extra part of hose that I have. Don't know, don't care, we'll figure it out. And this is why we put that tape there. 
See, it started to back out. So I need to take this out again and push it back. All right, got a little chip on the paint, but it makes it look distinguished, right? And there you have it. So we got one of them done. The other one, I just need to do one 90 degree, and that's it. So if I would suggest between the angle grinder and the cable cutters, Probably the cable cutters, a little easier. Um, left less fray, maybe it was the blade I was using. Maybe if I used a thicker grinder blade instead of a cutter, um, it might've worked better. But, we got it done. All right guys, the part you've all been waiting for. Now, I was making these AN lines for the Volvo power steering pump. Now. I'm going to be making another video about this Volvo power steering pump and how we're going to get it into the car and everything. So for that video, just like for this video, I will be giving away that cold, hard cash. PayPal, Cash App, or if you live in the Orlando area, I will deliver you $50 cash. Why are you doing that? But why? Why would you do that? But why not put all that money into the car? There's no fun in that. Well, there is a lot of fun in that. And we are doing that. But in the meantime, why not help out the people that fuck with us the most? And that's you. All I need you to do is DM me on Instagram a screenshot that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel and tag three people in the comments of this Instagram post. That's it. Subscribe. Let's run the numbers up. Drip and drip fam. We out of here.